hello guys welcome back to my channel it's ijoma you're welcome if you're new to this channel my name is ijoma i'm so glad to talk about this topic because i know that there's so many people that don't have an idea like trying to navigate your way especially as a foreign pharmacist graduate in nigeria through the comments i can see that um, many people have been able to navigate their path here in nigeria i'm thankful for how you have been supportive of my youtube journey sharing the videos commenting liking and um, subscribing i'm so 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 thankful we're almost at 2k and it's just like a dream um, yeah that's it <laughs> in today's video i'm going to be addressing foreign pharmacies graduate because um, the reason why i'm into foreign pharmacies graduate because it, those are the things i can really relate to i can't really relate to someone that studied in nigeria except you tell me about your experience and even for foreign graduates we, we don't we don't all have the same experiences because depending on the country you studied in you we all have different um, experiences and we all like um had to study in a different environment um but like for the pharmacy processes it's going to be the same for every pharmacist um foreign graduate i don't know how um the nigerian graduate on would go so i'll just be addressing the foreign graduate but i think you can get something if you are a nigerian graduate as well so what i want to talk about is the steps because i've always gotten, gotten this question and i did a short um like say guide on my um on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram here like what are you really 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 waiting for like i'm not sure so you can follow on at ujoma on instagram the reason why i really want to talk about this is a particular thing that's making me want to talk about this um i currently like applied for nysc service and there was something that made me um waste transport and waste everything i'm going to talk about this because i don't want you to make the same mistake if you have been following my channel for a long time you will know that i have shot like different video um steps and guide for foreign pharmacist graduates i've shot like different videos tips guide um every what have you the documents you need for your um the first um, license exam you're going to write and everything as that in this video i'm going to be talking about all the steps in general but i'm not going to go into them in depth but you can check the links in my bio for those ones that i've already um talked about in the past for instance your pharmacist graduates like you just um completed your pharmacy undergraduates and um, b farm d um farm d in um your country the abroad whatever whatever country you are in currently and you have it in mind to return to nigeria or to move to nigeria for a period of time or, or, or maybe for a long time you have to write a particular exam which is called fpgop that's foreign pharmacist orientation program and in this program which is a six weeks program you're going to have lectures for four weeks you have one week for revision and one week for exam so all the exam we're going to be is not going to be outside the syllabus i um, syllabus i talked about this in my previous video i'm going to put a link to them below in the tips for passing your exam i had like some past questions i was going to give out, give out for free um if you watch the video just write your email there and send me an email because and i'm going to send you the um, exam a lot of people have written like over 50 pharmacists um that are writing this exam have written me after that video i didn't know it was going to turn out so well but i've gotten a lot of response from there oh i need the past questions i need i've sent over i think 50 is an understatement but let's just keep it at that i'm really glad that um i mean i'm a light i'm a light at one corner and i'm you know helping and being a sort of help in one way or the other to pharmacists and that's by the way after the fpgop program you go straight into internship there's a video on how to secure your place for internship so i'm not going to go in depth into that so you can watch the video below after the internship program which will last for a year you will get a c of e so i'm going to show you what the c of e looks like so that's the certificate of experience to say stating that you completed your internship program in a particular venue under this um a registered pharmacist or a supervising pharmacist do you understand what i'm saying after the internship you have nyc stroke pep i'm going to put stroke pep because of two reasons one i'll be one reason one the pep you can choose to write the pep before during or after your nyc that totally depends on you the only thing is you can't write it before your internship program you have to write it after you have done with your internship program because this pep is called pre-registration examination for pharmacists is an exam to ascertain that 
these students have gone through internship just to test your knowledge that pep that exam is what will give you let's say is the button to your license so with, with your permanent license so you have to know that the license you had before that you used for your internship is not your permanent license that's just a provisional license just a license for for the for that time to use for internship or what have you but you can't use it if you need if you want to now be like registered in nigeria the pep cost about um the exam cost about 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 twenty thousand naira yeah and um <laughs> guys but that, that's the point I, in which i am right now as i'm sitting i want to just be very honest with you at this point this moment today as of today the exam is next week the exam is on the 23rd and i have not paid the tomorrow is the um deadline i have not paid for this exam if you ask me why i don't know because i feel like i am not prepared i know you can never get prepared for an exam like you always feel like there's still more to read but i i just feel like i have not even started reading like i just feel like i have so much to read so i'm just wondering do i write this exam or should i not like i've already budgeted for this exam but i'm not now sure if i should write it i don't know if you guys understand me where, where i'm coming from because i really just want to write this exam and just do it this and the next exam there are always two in a year there's one in march there's one in october and i just feel like march is too far but october is too close october like i'm talking next week is too close so i'm just in in between and, and i'm just like what do i really do because i'm not sure if i want to really write this exam at this point so i really don't know at the moment but like that's what it is so you, you don't have to pressure yourself you don't have to write it before you can do it during your nyc like i said you can do it after i just want to do everything that has to do with exam and everything this year so that's why i feel like i wanted to do this do your nyc you must have your complete documents once you get the c of e you're supposed to take it to pcn so pcn is not going to give you a cover letter this is what the cover letter looks like this cover letter is what you're going to take along to the verification um center because they're going to ask you for a cover letter from um pc and just stating that you are fit to be deployed as a pharmacist for nyc yeah so without this document without this cover letter you would not be allowed into like they will send you back you will not be cleared you will not be cleared for nyc all right you might need to have a need an, an, an evaluation letter especially if you studied in an african country and i think some other countries too you need an evaluation letter but for ukraine i'm very sure you don't need an evaluation letter because when i went to the venue they told me that i don't need but the, every other person would be needing an evaluation letter. and i could hear some countries like cameroon benin ghana so but i'm not sure of other countries so you have to like make sure you need to to verify that so that you can get your evaluation letter before going to the verification to verify your documents and you'll be giving a test after like you've been passed you'll be giving a test to write just ridiculous i spoke about it in my other video like so ridiculous like how can we make nigeria a better place they'll give you a test to write and they'll, they'll give you another test like how did you spend your last weekend which was the one i wrote on so they are using that to sustain your or to tell like your ability to comprehend and i think write well or something like that i'm not sure why they do that then after that i think you're going to be cleared and then you're going to get a call-up letter posting you to a particular place so which is what i'm waiting for at the moment because i've written the test and I'm just waiting for clearance and um the call-up letter which i'm supposed to get that's it in in summary so in summary you on getting to nigeria <laughs> You go to your fpgop um venue because there's always a venue for that then from fpgop you go straight to internship okay from internship you after you get your certificates your c of e you go to pcn to get your cover letter then you wait for nyc portal to open up so that you register either write pep now before nyc or you choose to write pep after nyc or during nyc and you go to orientation and you start your your um, service year which is which will last for another year that's it for my pharmacist folks um i hope this was um, explanatory enough and if you have any more questions you can just ask in the comment section below 
and i'm there to answer you can put your suggestions like what questions like what um kind of videos you want to see in the future thank you very much for coming to my ted talk i see you in another video please make sure to like subscribe and give a thumbs up please share with your friends and your frenemies anymore <laughs> i'm joking no. your friends and just share on your whatsapp status on your instagram status i mean bring more people in so that we can all grow together learn from each other thank you very much have a blessed 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 day or night wherever you are bye